From the tiniest microbe to the largest mammal, life scientists study them all. With their relentless curiosity about all things living, researchers further our knowledge of the world around us and improve our quality of life. With so much to study on this planet and beyond, it isn't surprising that life science research doesn't just occur in the pristine laboratory setting. Research is done in the deepest part of the rainforest, in submersibles looking at the bottom of the ocean, and in the most remote regions far, far away from laboratory settings. With modular spectroscopy instrumentation, researchers can take the measurements to the samples to avoid sample changes that may occur when they're removed from their natural environment. They can make multiple measurements simultaneously so they can maximize the amount of information that they're collecting for their samples. And they can reconfigure their system as needed to allow them to make a wider range of measurements on their samples. To demonstrate the power of modular spectroscopy, let's take a closer look at a protein folding study. Proteins must fold into a very intricate three-dimensional structure for them to carry out their biological functions. When this structure is disrupted, they then can cause illness and disease. The QE Pro is a great choice for any life science laboratory. It has interchangeable slits, which enables the researchers to reconfigure their spectrometer as needed to look at different light levels and different resolutions. It also has a high sensitivity back thinned cool detector to enable the detection of low signal levels. We'll be using fluorescence to characterize protein folding with excitation provided by the LLS LED. In this case, we're using excitation at 280 nanometers. We place a quartz cuvette filled with sample in our temperature regulated cuvette holder, the Q-Pod, and we ramp the temperature between 20 and 40 degrees Celsius. At 20 degrees Celsius, the protein is in its fully folded state and we see the highest fluorescence intensity levels. As we increase the temperature to 40 degrees Celsius, the protein begins to unfold or denature and the fluorescence decreases. Using this setup, we can ramp the temperature between 20 and 40 degrees Celsius and watch the protein fold and unfold over many cycles. In this demonstration, we've showed you a modular spectroscopy setup that can be used for monitoring protein folding. You have a set of tools that you can use to make a wide range of measurements and learn everything you can about your samples. We work with researchers, scientists, and engineers every day to solve measurement challenges, and we can help you too. To learn more about this and other modular spectroscopy applications, visit us online at oceanoptics.com.